with the exponential growth of the digital media in india has come the huge jump in cyber crime and more importantly cyber crime that targets children in the country such as cyber bullying sexting intimate videos and other offenses that come within sexual exploitation and abuse of children online and now a awareness campaign has been launched jointly by the delhi high court and the delhi police to educate children make them aware of these crimes and of what they can do if something like this happens to them first and foremostly uh, this being an online sexual exploitation abuse related issue that we are discussing and the insidious way in which the technology has entered into the lives of children seamlessly though we are discussing an issue which is pre crime stage before the commission of a crime how should we equip our children and if this is successfully implemented substantial gains can be attained first and foremostly i think it's the awareness which is very important and these videos will tell us in short period of time how the children can be made aware of and how to deal with situations which will arise in their lives inevitably we're speaking to the dcp of the delhi police mr prashant gautam sir thank you very much for speaking to us so this workshop has been set up today so there were students there were judges there are police officials lawyers present so if there is a crime like this that is reported what should what is the first thing that people or a victim needs to know if something like this happens see in such cases uh, i divide it into two parts one is being aware about such crimes second is uh, by by being aware how how you protect yourself and second is once this thing happens uh, what do you do so first of all there are many things one should do like they should not do uh, uh, they should they should not uh, you know share their personal things uh, on internet uh, they should they should avoid being talking to you know strangers and getting too much opened up uh, with such kind of people see once these thing happens and these things will happen you no know? once these things will happen you you must you know coordinate with your parents or your mentor or your friend and you you must visit police station you must call 112 in case of you know cyber financial frauds there is a all india helpline which is 1930 in case there is a financial fraud related to cyber crime you should call 1930 and if it is if if if, if if it if if it is online if it is other than that not the financial uh, uh, crimes then there is a all india websites of website of mha that is cybercrime.gov.in you must register your complaint there see in complaint also they, they, there can be two things one is you know the crime has been completed say someone uh, is trying to you know extract extort or extract money out of you through a through cyber crime even if there is an attempt on you on anything say the crime has not been completed you must register your complaint on cybercrime.gov.in reason being this will uh, this will make a database for us and our algorithms will you know uh, uh, work in background and uh, by doing that we we understand what kind of new mos or what kind of new uh, numbers which are coming up and uh, that is the way we uh, take action on that but sir uh, my question was about this uh, kind of sexual exploitation particularly of children of women because this is something that is happening a lot and today uh, this awareness program has happened so if something happens to a child that you know somebody is either cyber bullying them or some intimate photo was leaked or uh, you know an intimate conversation was put online 
what does a child or a woman or a man do in that scenario what is the procedure that the police do? see first of all this thing should not happen you must be aware about uh, you know uh, the, uh, the 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 problems which can be created once you share such things and please remember if you share anything uh, uh, you know uh, like this on internet or on social media it leaves digital footprints and uh, to an extent you know it's it's almost impossible to you know delete those digital footprints from that place so the, the, that's the you know degree i want to uh, try uh, trying trying to bring it out so do not share your personal things on social media or internet we're speaking to the students of various schools in delhi who are here at the delhi high court for the launch of the awareness workshop on online child sexual exploitation and cyber crime and we'll be speaking to these students as well as their teachers on what they think are the more important issues that this have been highlighted by such workshops uh, you're a, you're from which uh, delhi public school rk puram if you you've just sat through this workshop you've also i'm assuming had some workshops in your school what uh, what have you learned from this kind of a workshop what do you know about cyber bullying and online crime i think one thing that i have learned is that not to trust anyone online no matter who they say they are you should not not, not only uh, online but also offline but because the domain is so much bigger online it is very easy for people to trust someone and it is very easy for people to fool each other so i think that is one given do not trust someone you've just met be careful do not sense do not uh, do something you're not comfortable in doing make sure that you know whatever you're doing is right always include one of your elders or someone you think that can guide you in the correct direction because uh, going through all of it alone sometimes you may not know what is right and what is wrong so i think you should be in contact with someone who can guide you well who your parents or your you know aunts and uncles teachers anyone who you know that you know want good for you so i think that is a given we'll also speak to some more people here uh, you've seen you've been through this workshop which school are you from i'm from stringdale school pusa road so have you come across any such incidences of cyber bullying among your friends if you've seen any such incidents or heard about no absolutely not i feel like my school is pretty uh, open about all of this and it has conducted many seminars so that makes us aware and i've not witnessed it, something like this first hand but interactive sessions such as this one make me know what is moral and what is immoral what makes us different what makes us humans different is that we have the choice how do you see this kind of uh, workshop what have you learned from it and did you already know about this kind of behavior did anybody around you go ever go through something like yeah it's like basically open for everyone but like not in uh, this much open and detailed so like internet is a basic area for uh, negative and positive both things there are both sides and we just need to be more attentive on internet like if we are using some uh, online platform so if we are just more attentive we can be like secure and uh, we uh, we can maintain our privacy and using this workshop like it's a uh, like good initiative by the government and the uh, police so like they are spreading this awareness in the uh, like uh, to all the students uh, regarding this so i'm talking to these students but i'll also talk to some of the teachers who are here ma'am this cyber bullying online crime is a big problem and it, it is something that is increasing what how do you as teachers see this are you aware of any such incidents that have happened with your students or students other way see when they go online they are not really aware of the consequences that could be there for them so it's very important to educate them and it's it's a very good idea to educate them through new modes like visual aid or audio aids because it's not preaching it's rather practice and i think that's something that involves experience and learning and through these modes it's it becomes way more easier for all of them to understand how do you see this because this is not a new thing since the internet has come around cyber bullying online sexual offenses have just increased as was also talked about in the workshop how do you as a teacher tackle it when a student of yours comes and tells you uh, that something like this is happening see uh, there are a lot of sensitive issues also so we people as a teacher has to be also be very sensitive towards the sensitive students we should know that what how we should tackle them in what manner like uh, uh, to know that what is a loop thing is very important like what a child is suffering from what details what 
the problem has happened a lot of times children face difficulty in telling the problem also so to inculcate to know that thing is also the big thing also to guide them is very important and to make them secure about that we are there we are there for them we are always there the police is there the teachers are there their parents are there is very important because a lot of times children feel that they are alone and they face problem in that and because of that suicides happen and i may ask you are also women teachers in a school full of students with phones ready at any point of time have you as teachers ever faced any sort of cyber bullying or what is done what do you think should be done if there is cyber bullying around see all of them they should be very well acquainted with the rules and regulations that are laid out for them most of the time they enter the zone without being aware as to what is it that they are getting into and with peer pressure and couple of other things they don't understand the nuances that are there and uh, i think it's collective responsibility parents teachers schools and students and uh, organizations like you know delhi police or high court if they collaborate we can create that conducive environment where this is not happening could i get your name my name is sanya tanija from dps arkipuram my name is swati kumar from prudence ashok pehar ma'am you're also a teacher Yes. would you also like to sp- we are uh, speaking to people on and students and teachers as a teacher how do you see cyber bullying and more importantly online sexual exploitation because this is something that happens to students it happens to uh, adults it happens a lot how do you see this kind of a me- measure to tackle such actually the thing is that uh, as in when the technology is in reach of the students like you know they are so very young to understand what is right what is wrong and they become the easy targets of the predators as was discussed in the movies and i think so at this point of time it is very very essential for make these students aware what is right what is wrong because in future they are moving towards totally wrong direction which they don't even realize so i think so the step taken today was amazing and i was uh, truly delighted to be a part of the same because when we are going to go back to our school the students who are not there with us they are seeing uh, from the uh, you can say online media but still i think so when we are going to give them the first hand idea about what exactly we witnessed here i think so that is definitely going to make a difference really thankful uh, could i get your name uh, sukham kanwar prudence school ashok vihar highlighting the different insidious ways in which children and even adults could get drawn into cyber bullying cyber stalking or by sexual predators online these videos are expected to now provide a tool for children not just to understand what all of these offenses really are but also develop the tools to repulse them to protect themselves and to report if any such incident happens with them speaking at the event senior judges as well as police officials have expressed the hope that by creating more of these videos by allowing children to conduct an experiential manner just how these things occur it will give more awareness and more knowledge to the children to ensure that if something happens they are able to stop it and report it in new delhi this is anisha mato for india today